This Tundra 2002 has a bad fuel pump. The symptoms came out of the blue. It drove perfect and then parked for about 15 minutes and then when it tried to restart it would crank and crank, sputter a little bit, but would not start. Could not hear the fuel pump turning on when the ignition, when the key was turned on. You can open the fuel um, fill cap, put your ear close to it and have somebody turn on the key and you should hear the fuel pump buzz for a few seconds. Uh, I did not hear that so I wanted to confirm that the fuel pump uh, was not working by applying direct power to it. So if you look over here under the hood in the fuse box here, these three relays work together. There's the um, C open, the EFI, and the fuel pump. The direct power source to the fuel pump if you want to run a positive wire from the battery to one of these contacts to energize it manually. Again this is the fuel pump relay. There's two different speeds, high speed and low speed that the fuel pump runs. There is a resistor right here that reduces the power to the fuel pump to run it at low speed. When you turn the ignition on, and when you're running the engine at high load, this contact here goes directly to the fuel pump motor. If you put positive battery power to this contact, it runs the fuel pump at full speed. If you put positive battery power to this contact, it runs the fuel pump at low speed because it routes the power through this resistor. So I put positive battery power to each of those and heard nothing at the fuel tank. I freed up fuse frozen fuel pumps before by switching polarity between positive and negative wires to the fuel pump and eventually it'll jog loose and then it, sometimes it will turn freely and you can uh, get a lot more life out of it without having to pull the fuel tank. Let me show you where you can do that if you're willing to cut and repair some wires. Pull up this trim by the driver's door This wire right here, it is blue with an orange stripe. Not a red stripe, it's blue with an orange stripe. Is the positive feed directly to the fuel pump. There's another wire here. On this vehicle it is very close to it. It is a white wire with a black stripe and it has big gray polka dots on it. It is the ground wire directly to the fuel pump motor. There are a couple other wires that are black, or I'm sorry, white with a black stripe. And there and there. They've both been cut and repaired but they are larger. The ground for the fuel pump is not one of the two larger white with black stripe wires. It is the, the smaller white with a black stripe wire. So if you take those two wires, cut them, on the fuel pump side, you can hook a 12 volt battery charger or some other 12 volt source you can run long wires from your battery 
down to here. Touch it, see if you hear the fuel pump click or anything. You can and then reverse it, positive and negative. Touch, reverse, touch, reverse, touch. This will run the fuel pump, this will attempt to run the fuel pump forward and backward. And sometimes, after a bunch of tries, it will break free and it will run again. Then you just splice the wires back to the appropriate ones on the other side, and away you go. Here's the fuel tank out. Here's the, what the plug looks like on a 2002 V8 Tundra. These two leads right here are the positive and negative. These three are for the fuel level and whatnot. To take the tank out, it's pretty simple. The filler hose, vent hose, I recommend taking those off. Here, not here, you have more room under the truck. And then there's three fuel lines. The clamps and lines come off pretty easy. You want to unplug this, you want to detach uh, the wire from here. It's just got some tape around it. You can pull it free. And then there are two big clamps that run underneath the belly of it here and over there and I used my Harbor Freight uh, swivel handle tilting table transmission jack worked excellent you might want to elevate the whole vehicle up a little bit makes it a lot easier you can actually pull the tank out from under the truck I even lowered it down onto these 6x6 um, six six wood blocks and it still slid out from under the truck up on ramps like that. And that is how you can for certain verify that the fuel pump is bad and you can try to free it up by reversing the polarity to it, which I did, but this one is just locked up again. This truck has 190,000 miles never had any issue and then all of the sudden the fuel pump just locked solid sometimes they do that it's weird but they do a little more on the relays this is the COPN relay the computer sends power to it and then it provides power whoops to this one the fuel pump relay so the way the fuel pump is turned on is when the computer sends a ground to this relay which sends positive power to the fuel pump relay, turns it on, and then to switch the fuel pump to low speed, the computer sends a ground signal to this relay while it's on, and it switches over, switches the power from this little middle leg here, switches it to here, it goes through the resistor and it runs the fuel pump at low speed. Hope that helps.